Hey everyone, M1 Shadow here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about professional wrestling and how the word fake is actually an ugly word for it and I couldn't disagree with something anymore. Uh, before I get started with that, I just want to let everyone know that I do have a Facebook page now. It's actually M1 Shadow. If you're on Facebook, make sure to check it out. Uh, like it and that way you can see more videos. I'm going to be posting uh, old and uh, new videos. So make sure to go there, check it out and like it. I do appreciate the support. One of the reasons why I never understood why people call it fake is because if you watch a TV show or a movie, uh, that's all scripted, but nobody calls that fake. So I never understood why certain people got anal about the fact that the matches are predetermined. And if you think that just because matches are predetermined that that makes it fake and that injuries those guys get or the conditioning they're in, you know, if you think that it's fake because of that, then you really have another thing coming to you. Uh, first thing, let's talk about their conditioning. You go outside, and I bet a lot of people watching this video can go outside and try to jog around, just jog like one lap and see if you could do it without getting winded. You know, these guys and girls are going out there and they're performing, I mean, they're running, jumping on the ropes, uh, coming down, landing on each other, and you're not seeing them getting winded. They're just, they're constantly moving. Uh, not only that, you look at their schedules, they're on the road uh, basically every week of every year. You know, it's not like us, we get done with our work day, we're, we're home. They're leaving their house, from what I know, their schedule, they're leaving their house on uh, Friday and not returning home till the following Wednesday. Sometimes wrestling five or six matches, or maybe even more, in that time. So that's, that takes a lot of toll on your body. And when they're not wrestling, they're in the gym keeping themselves built up and conditioned well to be in that shape to do that. There were actually football players, professional football players, that have tried out for it thinking it was easy and they just couldn't handle it. Now, I'm not putting down football players. I have a lot of respect for football players for what they do. I'm not a fan of football players. Uh, I mean, I'm not a fan of football, but I respect the players for what they do. But that just goes to show if there were professional football players who went and tried it out and couldn't handle it, that just goes to show that the amazing athleticism it takes to be a professional wrestler. One thing I always uh, found kind of funny, too, is that the same people that uh, mock wrestling and say that, you know, oh, that's easy, I could do it, are usually the same people that spend their Sundays uh, on the couch watching, uh, watching TV all day and they're getting winded just to get up and go to the refrigerator and get themselves another beer. Um, <laughs> you know, now, I'm not putting you down if you're out of shape. Uh, I could definitely get in better shape myself, too. That's not the point, but... You know, if you think it's for someone to criticize it and say it's that easy when you have no idea, um, it's one of those things I think you should try it out or, you know, or keep your mouth shut and not put these people down for what they do. Uh, again, that takes a lot of athleticism to do what they're doing. Another good example I want to bring is, uh, you know, how these, you know, these guys and girls, they'll get injured, you know, bad injuries, real injuries, and they'll still keep performing. One that sticks in my mind is John Cena in the uh, 2013 SummerSlam. He tore, it was either one or both of his triceps in his match with Daniel Bryan. He continued the match, and if you haven't seen the match, it was an amazing match. Uh, you know, definitely check it out if you're a wrestling fan. But, you know, that's one of many examples of where they will get hurt, but they will conti uh, continue to keep wrestling and going out there and doing what they got to do just to make their fans happy. So anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. And I also want your thoughts and opinions on what I discussed today. What do you feel? How do you feel about wrestling and what they do and their athleticism? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have any video suggestions of videos you want to see, I'm all up for it. Aside from the talk show videos, I also do uh, food prep. I do uh, dog videos like history on dogs. Um, even dog, you know, dog treat recipes. I also do uh, firearm reviews, sometimes firearm videos. So, you know, be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel and keep watching. Thank you all for uh, tuning in and have a good one.